Good morning, Cape Hero. The weather today is still hot and sunny. What a miracle. It's been sunny the whole summer. We next week if if it's still hot, you'll you might catch us in the sprinkler. Over, Over to you, you Scripture Squad. squad. Hello, Scripture Squad. Hello, girls. I have a question for you. What is a miracle? It is a miracle from God. A miracle is from God? Lainey, what is a miracle? A miracle is from God. Yes, a miracle is from God. A miracle is something that God does for you. Thank you, girls. Okay, like the girl said, a miracle is from God. It is a power that he does in our lives and does something incredible for us, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so cool and usually you can't explain it. So, have you guys, I have a question for you. I like to call these things God moments. When you see God coming through for you in a powerful way. Have you guys ever had a God moment in your life? Uh, I've had a God moment. My grandpa died before I was born, but he lived to be 103 years old. 103? That is a miracle. That is a really long life. Ken, do you have a God moment? Um... Well, um, what, we didn't get to go to the Kingfish game last year, and we went to it this year. You got to go to the Kingfish game this year? That is a miracle. Thank you, guys. Okay. okay, guys, like I said, do you guys have any God moments where you saw God coming to you in a powerful way or coming through for you in a powerful way? Yes, my grandma is healthy now because... And she got COVID. And she got really sick and now she's healthy and she was able to be healed and come home from the hospital. That is a miracle. How about you, Milo? Is there any miracles you can think of? We got to go back to church again. Yeah, getting to go back to church and seeing your friends is a very good miracle too. Thank you guys for sharing those God moments with us. Okay, let's go and hear our story today. Our story is about a man through who God performed a really awesome miracle. Should we go see? Come on. Okay, boys and girls. So we are going to see a really cool story of God's power through a miracle that happened in the Bible. Let's check it out. Ahab was still king of Israel. He prayed to an idol called Baal. He asked Baal to bring rain. Does Baal bring rain or does God bring rain? We know the answer to that. But rain did not fall. The crops did not go. The people cried, we are hungry. If the crops didn't grow then, they have nowhere to go just purchase their food. They had to grow all their food. Let's see what's gonna happen. The prophet Elijah brought King Ahab a message from God. Elijah said, there is no rain because you worship a statue instead of the true God. This made King Ahab very angry. He was very angry in this picture. Elijah wanted to show the people that his God was the one true God. So Elijah gave them a challenge. He and King Ahab and all the Israelites marched up to Mount Carmel. Look, at, they're headed up there to Mount Carmel. Elijah told the worshipers of Baal, build an altar to your God and I will build an altar to my God. Then they placed an offering on each altar. The worshipers of Baal cried out for their God to send fire. They danced around the altar, but nothing happened. Elijah teased Baal's prophets, maybe Baal is on vacation. We knew that wasn't gonna work, right guys? Because there's only one true God. Let's see what Elijah does. Elijah dug a trench all around the altar. He poured water over everything. Water even filled the trench. Elijah prayed. Suddenly fire came down from the heavens. The sacrifice burned up, the stone altar burned up, and even the trench was gone. The trench full of water burned up. 
That's how powerful our God is. When the people saw what had happened, they bowed down and worshiped the one true God. Before long, God allowed it to even rain again. That is a true miracle. That is the power of God. He can keep our hearts on fire for him as long as we trust in him and we believe in his power. All right, boys and girls, I think the scientists might actually be here today, which is a good thing because we know what happened with me last week. Let's go see if they're around. Come on. What? I was wandering around the church and I found both scientists. Hi, Hi guys. Louis. How's it going? Hi, Louie. It's going good. Glad to be back, boys and girls. It's time for our cool science experiment. But of course, before we get started, we have to sing our song. And guess who I have with me today? Hi, guys. It's me, Sydney. But I'm going to learn Scientist Sally's song because, as you've noticed, I've been being happier and I need to continue to be happy. So will you teach me yours? Absolutely, and it's way better. Let's do the jingle. Ready? It's, it's time, time to get silly. Silly with Sally, the scientist. We're gonna blow things up today. Yes! What? Wait, hold yes, on. Yes, we have fire. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. You raise me no. up. No, 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 no. This is fire. It's getting hot in here. No, this is no, it's fire. Real. We have a real no, science experience. No, no, we have to take it a little serious. There's fire today. Yeah, I think they might have a problem with it in California. Oh man, I wonder why. Why? I don't know. I heard there was like a little like light or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe okay. not enough water. The ocean dried up. I don't know. All right, yeah. but we're, we are playing with fire today. But we have to be serious for once. Can you do that? <gasps> I can try. We gotta right. tell the kids an important thing. What's the important thing? Do not try this at home. Yeah, don't do this at home. Do not. No. No. Okay. No. 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 Only with adults. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna start by this candle, and think of this candle as you. Okay. That's and we're gonna. Me. Yeah. This little flame, and this is your flame. But it's completely the wrong color. <laughs> it's not working. There it goes. How many times did it take? Just so awesome. four. Just four? Ring. Okay, okay, okay. Again, serious fire. Okay. So there's the candle, and the candle has a flame, and this represents us. And when we try to do things on our own, but then life and all the pressures that come with yes start to together. yeah sure together. start to go over the top. Wait, what's that gonna do? Of you and start to. The pressures start to build oh, up. You see it, boys and girls? The water's rising. Water's going over. I'm feeling pressure right now. And it's going to build up. Pressure. And it's eventually, if we do things up. by ourselves, our light will go out because of all the pressure will overtake oh. our whole light and overflow us. And now, look, we need to light the it again. pressure is all that's left in there. We need to light it again. Well, Miss, no. Miss there's Sydney. Sydney. Miss Sydney. I think Sally's an arson. <laughs> yeah, she, she likes fire. I don't know what that is. This has Look, cool. Pyromania. Look, we are covered in pressure and it weighed us down. <sighs> but there is hope. There's a bigger candle. <gasps> and this candle is when we grow with God by putting God in our life. Kind of like, I mean, I know, Sally, you haven't been here a couple weeks, but this is kind of represents like my growth from the fact that I was doing everything all by myself. Oh, that's a really Robert. big candle. And then someone sounds a little shady. Right? <laughs> and then I got some friends and I wasn't very good at making friends. You're not very good at lighting this candle. <laughs> Maybe my friend can help me light the candle. It's because you have to sing. We got to do oh yeah, and you have to like Fired. Magic to and then you have burn, baby, burn. Look, yeah. it's lighting. I got a friend to help me. So that's me and God. And when I have God come in and help me to get through my day, and then I get some friends to help me get through my day, it becomes bigger and more powerful, and you grow. This little wick ain't wanting to light. Oh, my. Are we on time 27? Not the least. Are we in night? Come on, this is the thing with fire. You have to like coax it to light. What you prime the? Wait, I'll do the fire dance. 
Is it working? Uh, Hang on, uh, it's uh, in there. Uh, Start uh, the light. Uh, uh. Ooh, can't breathe very hard on it, otherwise you blow them all out. I'm de- fire dancing faster. Faster! This is not... Light Finally, working together, we got all of the fire lit. It's a miracle! Uh, right? <laughs> what our science experiment was about, though we would think that just lighting the candle was it. Yeah, because this is the pressure, right? Is it going to fit? No, no, no. There's a bigger pressure. You have it over there. So just like now that we have grown and we have God and our friends to help bring us closer to God. You're choking him! Oh no! Why does it smell like cheese? I don't know if it does smell like cheese. It does a little. <laughs> but you're going to put the pressure, pressure will come down on you. All the pressures will get bigger. And because you have the support of God and your friends, your fire won't go out. <gasps> All right. Pressure. Ah, so engage. Oh, 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 we got some bubbles. Something's working. And see? Jacuzzi. The fire <gasps> Water is still going in. lit. And water might, the pressure might still build up inside and the water still goes in and it will, but because you have your friends and you have God on your side, you stay away. That's so cool. It is awesome. Again, we have a fire. All right, boys and girls, remember, you don't do this at home. Whatever you do. Okay. No matter what Sally says, don't do this at home. Playing with fire is dangerous. And besides that, back to you, news crew. Before oh. news crew, I got a special report. I have to leave camp this week because I have to go back to work in my school next week. So I want to say goodbye to you, boys and girls, and I hope to see you in the fall. Okay. Well, we will miss you, <laughs> Sally. Especially me. Oh, yeah, because you're going to take over me yeah. a whole week, girl. You got all right. it. All right. Just remember to be silly and happy and smile, and it's all for the kids, and you'll be fine. All right. And Scripture Squad, do you want us to do one, want to help us do one thing before she leaves? I think we have to do her jingle one more time with all of you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. come on up. Go. It's time to get silly. Silly with Remember to always see God's power and blow out your candles. Because that's what true superheroes do. Like and subscribe and subscribe.